right, all right, all right. Good morning, good morning. Well, good afternoon. It's not even good morning. Good afternoon. And welcome to the Jimmy Got Home with Fitness Adaptations channel. And uh, out the back and the biceps. That is what we're training today. Good morning, Maria. Good morning. Hey, right? You're the first one here. So, uh, real quick, guys, you know, as always, let's discuss um, what's going on. Uh, remember, this workout, anybody can do it. Beginners, advanced, it does not matter. You can definitely benefit from these workouts. Um, in the description below, you're going to find a uh, basically guidelines on how to approach your workout. So, if you're trying to build muscle, I lay it out for you. If you're trying to uh, get muscular endurance, which is more for fat burn, if you're trying to lean out and burn more calories, uh, there's a strategy in the description below for that. And if you're trying to build strength, there's a strategy for that. So everything has a strategy. So choose your strategy wisely so that you can execute it correctly. All right? Olguita, good morning. Good morning. All right? Um, uh, real Quick brief, uh, number one, have plenty of water to drink, right? So have plenty of liquids. The rule is anytime that I drink, I want everybody drinking something. So if I, any chance that you see me chugging, you should be chugging because you should stay hydrated this entire workout. Number two, play your own music, loud, okay? Get some good music, uh, make it loud, make it um, make it pumping, that way, uh, that way you're you're uh, you're focused and you're inspired to work out. All right. Um, and when it comes to the workouts, right? Just for those of you who don't know, the first thing we do is a pre warm up. The pre warm up consists of just basic exercises that number one show you weaknesses, but also get you primed and ready for today's workout. From the uh, the pre warm up. Steal ideas. So if you have weaknesses, steal ideas so that during exercises that you don't think that you can do or too complicated or whatever, you can do, you can substitute with the workouts that we do in the pre warm up. So uh, be smart. Uh, take breaks when you need them, right? There's a lot of you who are going to need a long break, five minutes, six minutes. You might need to skip a whole round, skip a couple exercises. It does not matter. Go at your pace. If it's your first time, right, don't worry about how many reps. Try to stay with me, all right? So if I do 10 reps, and by the time I do 10, you're only at 6, you're only at 5, don't worry about it, right? If you if you do 5 and you're like, oh, man, that's all I got, don't worry about it. Take a longer break. You start, you'll, you'll figure things out as we go. Within a month, you'll know exactly what you need to do exactly how to approach everything and if you subscribe to the email list on my website trainercarlos.com if you subscribe to that list you should already have your nutrition and your strategies for the workouts uh, because it's five days you get an email every day giving you instructions on what to do that day so by the fifth day you have everything you need to achieve any goal that you desire all right so marisol good morning Oh, really? Um, so, Maria, uh, it could be, but also it's like it, sometimes it has to out of focus. So as I move forward, as I move back, maybe there's things distracting the camera that I got to figure out. But um, I bought another camera. I just purchased it like, like a little while ago. That's um, it's going to show, number one, more real estate because uh, this one is supposed to be like a uh, – high quality HD, but um, you also might want to check your settings on YouTube. So right here in the bottom on the, on the wheel, right? Check to make sure that it's like, it's not low quality because sometimes it might be 480 on your end. So um, check the wheel and make sure that you're not watching this in 480. All right. So sometimes you have to, you have to do it. You have to do that yourself, right? Because uh, YouTube gives you the, uh, the option to watch videos in different um, different uh, qualities, all right? So, 
So make sure you check that with the new camera. Hopefully it comes in real soon. Hopefully by next Wednesday, I'll have the new camera and then it'll be my, I think it'll be sharper, but it'll also have more real estate. So that's going to be cool. I, I can't wait for that. That's going to be much, 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 uh, much better. We'll, we'll, I'll figure that out. Um, all right, guys. So we're ready. We're ready to go. We're ready to um, get this workout started. Get a little chug. We are going to start with the pre-warm-up. After the pre-warm-up, I'll explain what's going to happen with the workout itself. All right? So let's get going. I am a little sore, guys. My hands are sore. All right? Remember, I don't go heavy, at least not now, because I am in, um, I'm in, a, I'm in a season, right? So I'm training to, uh, to do well in the CrossFit game. So I'm a little chubbier because I'm eating a lot more food because I need to recover, get stronger, etc. I am not in a leaning out phase, all right? So, all right. Awesome, awesome, all right. Let's get started with the pre-warm-up, all right? Whew. Have everything ready. If you have a smartwatch, Apple Watch, calorie counter, whatever you got, um, make sure that it's on and you have it in the settings that you need for today's workout. So let's get started with the upper body. Today's upper body, we're gonna warm up the legs a little bit, but not a lot, mostly um, upper body today. So let's start with the arm circles. So remember, two options for the arm circles, retract the shoulder blades if you understand that. If not, roll, stick on your chest, squeeze your back, and while you hold the squeeze, open wide, and start doing arm circles. Let's go. So now we're gonna point our fingers up, and down, up and down, down now, and that way we start warming up the wrist as well. All right, so big circles, up and down. Retract those shoulders, keep those shoulder blades retracted at all times. You can make the circles bigger, right? Bring it back down and shake it off. All right, we're here, one arm over the top, one arm under. So one arm touches the back of the shoulder, one arm touches under the armpit. Just like this. All right. Now we are going to reverse the direction. So if you are going forward, you're going to stop and go the opposite direction. If you're going backwards, you're going to stop and now you're going to go forward. All right. So switch the direction on the arm circles. All right. So... Pointing up, let's go. Retract those shoulder blades. Keep your chest up. Good posture, nice and tall. Point down. Point up. Point down, and let's go over and under. That second one is always shorter because the shoulders are already a little bit fatigued from the first round of arm circles. All right. Woo, okay, next. We're going to open the thighs nice and wide. So the legs, you're going to put either your palm or the middle of your hand, and you're going to support your upper body with the palm or the middle of your hand. You're going to rotate, you're going to shift your weight towards one side, bend the elbow, stick out the chest, so you're going to feel the pressure on the chest, but you're also going to feel pressure on the wrist. You're going to look away, keep putting pressure so you can get a good stretch, and then you're going to go the other way. Same thing. Move your weight to one side, put pressure on the wrist, pressure on the chest. Stay nice and low, sitting down in this sumo squat position, all right? We're going to do two second holds, we're going to do 10 of them, all right? Three, two, one, let's go. So one, two, and switch. One, two, one, two, one, two, that's four. One, two, one, two. Two, that's six. One, two, one, two, that's eight. One, two, one, two, that's ten. Come back up, shake it off, shake it off. All right. Let's warm up the legs a little bit. We're gonna keep this, this wide position. I want you to drive your hips back, so you're gonna lean back, legs straight, and then as your hips go back, your chest stays up, right? And then, Bend one knee, bend the knee towards one side, keep the legs straight, keep driving your hips back. You're going to notice that you're going to be able to sit at this position, feel the stretch in the inner thigh, 
and then we're gonna go to the other side. One, two, all right? Never with the hips going forward because that's gonna do, it's gonna push you forward, it's gonna hurt your knee. So hips back as we go side to side. Two second holds on each side, we're doing 10 single count. All right, ready, let's go. One, two, one, two, that's two. One, two, one, two, that's four. One, two, one, two, that's six. One, two, one, two, that's eight. One, two, one, two, that is 10, shake it off. Let's do a little bit of a little march. With the march, your arms are chopping up and down, right? And then whichever arm kicks back, you lift, you lift that leg, all right? For those of you who are looking for, who are um, new, right? Remember, if you can't get past 90 degrees, if you can't get 90 or higher, means you have hip, uh, weak hip flexors. So work on that, all right? So, if, but if you don't try to hunch down to try to get the leg closer, right? No, stay upright and just focus little by little, week by week, that leg's gonna get, get higher and higher until you, those hip flexors are strong enough to get your knees up, all right? So we're gonna march just like this. The leg that kicks back, the arm that kicks back is the leg that goes up, and then you switch, all right? One, one, two, two, we are going for 10. We're not going for a lot. Ready, three, two, one, let's go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10. Shake it off, beautiful. Okay, next. We are gonna go ahead and instead of, so now instead of going like this, we're gonna kick back, bring the heel to the hamstring. Again, if you can't bend, if you can't bring the heel to the hamstring like this, if you can't do this, means your hamstring is weak, all right? You're gonna do this more often. Do not kick the leg back, right? Keep that leg a little bit in front and you're just bending, all right? Keep it straight down or slightly in front but don't kick back like this because you won't be able to get it, all right? So one, one, two, two, we are going for 10, same thing. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Shake it off, beautiful. All right, let's go ahead and do some jumping jacks. Feet together, or slightly shoulder width apart. So you're like this, and then you're gonna, right, jump. Every time your feet split, hands go up. If you can't jump, sidestep. If you can't go all the way up, go halfway. If you can't go out, go front. Again, if you can't go all the way up, go halfway. Find the combination that works for you, all right? I'm gonna do 10. Lateral, 10 in front. Three, two, one, starting with the laterals, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now I'm gonna go front, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Fantastic, shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Woo, all right. Let's go ahead. We're gonna bring our hands to our shoulders like this, and we'll do big circles. Keep your chest up, right? Squeeze those shoulder blades back here. Big, big circles. Try to keep the hands on the shoulders. We're gonna go 10 in one direction, 10 in the other. Ready? Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten. Now the opposite is opposite. Let's go. One, four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Shake it off. All right, that's good for the warm up. That is good for the warm up. All right, Ceci. Good morning, Simena, Olguita. We got a full house today. All right, so. All right, so we're good with the warm-up. Guys, while I'm explaining the exercises, right, stay warm, right? Just jump around, march, 
right? Stay moving. Keep on, keep on moving. Just don't get cold. Don't just sit there and wait till I'm done explaining because you're going to get cold, all right? I want you to stay warm. What I'm going to do is I'm going to explain now what we're doing today. Today we're doing a standard ladder. So one, two, three, four, five, six. Five, four, three, two, one. We're going to keep it simple. Second round is a double ladder, all right? And then we'll go from there. I'm going to explain all six exercises. After I'm done explaining, we're getting right into the workout. All right? So grab something to drink real quick. All right? Keep moving as I explain the exercises. All right. Here we go. So we are going to start. Hold on, guys. Let me move this forward a little bit. Because then what happens is the camera sees it, and then it kind of, like, makes the background blurry. We're going to start with the Scott's press. My recommendation for the Scott's press is that you go light. Go light with the weight. And what you're trying to focus on, hold on, guys. Let me move this back so you guys can have more real estate. That's why I need the new camera. All right, so I got to buy the new camera so you guys can have, can see me better. All right. Okay. So I think that's better. All right. So what you want to do with the Scots press is that we're going to be up here, right? And we are going to raise, right? God. So we're going to raise right up to here, and we're going to open up. Here, here. Right? And we're squeezing. We are going to squeeze um, the shoulder blades. So making sure that, and we're keeping the same angle. So we're, we're standing straight, right? I'm, I'm bending down so you guys can see the weight. But... Right, we're gonna stand straight, up, down, and at the top, you're making a V. You're making a V. But the weights are a little bit behind me, right? And I'm keeping my shoulder blades nice and retracted. And then up, down, right? We have the 15 of those. If you do those right, they are killer, right? They Hurt like crazy, all right? From there, we're going to single arm row. So the single arm row, you can go a little heavier. You should be going two to three times heavier than the Scots press, all right? So what you want to do is, number one, right, you're going you're gonna to open up, all right? So you're going to open up, and then as you have, as you open like this, like when we're doing the stretch like this, right, one foot, is gonna point in this direction, the direction you're gonna go, you're gonna lean down. So my shoulders are facing the same direction as the front foot, right? This back foot, I want you to just lift it up and set it up to the point where it's nice and a little bit open. I don't want you like this. A little bit open, nice and steady. Keep your elbow on your thigh for stability, right? Reach down, let your, let your lats stretch. Then you rotate the shoulders back, you squeeze, you bring it down. Squeeze, bring it down. All right? So, now, if you want to if you want to work more your core, don't put your elbow on the thigh, you know, you still have to get lower flat. You still have to go flat back. So you can keep your hands like this, keep your shoulders square and row. That's going to force you to find, uh, force you to have better control of your abs and your, your midsection, right? Um, it's just a better, uh, more demanding uh, exercise. And I would do that, like, if you're going with lighter weights, light to moderate, if you're going heavy, you got to go stable, right? Head strength training, muscle building is more, more static, more balance, right? More control, right? If you're doing more muscular endurance, you can go ahead and do the arm out, okay? I'll leave, I'll leave it up to your discretion, okay? But we are only gonna do seven and seven. So the idea is that, yeah, you can, you can go heavy, right? But I want you to pick a weight that seven is hard, right? Um, so find a weight that you can max out at 10 reps, okay? And focus on technique, squeeze, and down. So we do seven and seven. Then we're doing the straight bar curls. I call them straight bar curls, right? Because uh, most of us don't have a straight bar. We only have dumbbells. 
So we're going to put the dumbbells together and it creates a straight bar, right? The only thing is that it becomes a close grip straight bar curl because dumbbells most of, most of the time are not that this wide where you can stay over here. They're usually here. So you're doing a close grip um, straight bar. I want you to, uh, if you want, you can curl, stay in the curl position, and you're doing like a, like a um, concentrated curl straight bar. You can also go a little bit, bend your knees a little bit, and stay like this. Or you can stay straight with the knees slightly bent, okay? Um, the more mobility you have, you can go all the way down. Um, I think they're all going to burn just as many calories. They're all going to burn your bicep just as much, right? But um, the concentrated poly focus more on the bicep because it doesn't allow you to bounce. Because if you're standing up, you can use a little momentum, right? But if you're down here, there's no momentum going on. It's all bicep curls. Same thing if you're a little bit higher. Just focus on no bouncing, no momentum. Just focus on squeezing that bicep, right? Keep everything tight. We're going to do 10. Then we're going to swing to high pulls. So we're doing a double kettlebell, double dumbbell swing, right? And then we're going to go high pull. So you bring the dumbbells up. So right about this elevation right here, all right? If you want to go a little bit higher, you can, but probably right here is good. And at this top position, right, you should squeeze your shoulder blades, bring it down. Squeeze the shoulder blades, bring it down. Right? Now, what I want you to notice is as I'm going down, I'm turning the dumbbell, right? So my thumb is facing forward, but as I go up, I turn and I point my elbow up and then I turn. So I'm always turning the dumbbell. The dumbbell's going from here, turn, turn, turn. So you're not always staying like this, right? Turn. All right, give me, give me a little bit of a rotation on those shoulders, all right? And use your legs for power, so power. So you're using your legs, you're exploding, because it's a high pull. If you don't know how to do high pulls, if you have a hard time with that, you can do upright rows. Upright rows, there's no swing, you're just going up and down, all right? There's no swing with upright rows and the dumbbell is always facing um, one direction, right? That's an upright row. Uh, the high pull is more for people who want to do Olympic lifting, right? And really want to get that, that explosion, just bam, and get yourself in that position, all right? So we are going to do 10, all right? Swing and high pull. Unless you do an upright row, then you do upright row. Um, then we have hammer curls, and shrug, all right? We did this last week, and what we're doing with the hammer curl, right, is we're staying normal right here, we're staying in a solid position. We don't wanna swing the weight up to the, to the shoulders like this, we don't wanna swing them. We wanna control the weight, bring the elbows up, and then once you get to the shoulders, I want you to lift the shoulders, you're gonna, you're gonna bring the shoulders to your ears. So you're gonna shrug, then deep press and come back down, all right? Slow, control, elbows up, shrug, bring it down. Slow and control, guys, this hurts if you do it correctly. If you're swinging, right, if you get really tired and using heavy weights and you wanna swing, you wanna use momentum, right? By all means, you can get away with it, but preferably, I want you to go from a dead weight Always under control. One, two, three, up, down. One, two, three, one, two, three. So I want you to keep that, that tempo, a three second tempo, all right? I'm not gonna be counting one, two, three, one, two, three, because I'm gonna get confused and, and, and I'm, I'm gonna go crazy. But in you guys, in your mind, you're doing a three second tempo. One, two, three, shrug. Down, one, two, three, all right? So we're gonna do 10 of those. And then we got the front raise, the plank, front raise. So we're gonna be here, we're gonna go on a plank, all right? And we're gonna front raise, 
One, two, three. Try to stay in front. Do not open up, right? Stay, keep your shoulders squared, body forward. As little, as little movement on your hips as possible. Both shoulders facing the same direction of your legs, right? And control as high as you can go. Under control. Single count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And that's it. Those are the six exercises. So we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, five, four, three, two, one. All right. Woo! Awesome. All right, guys. So <laughs> Simena, ahí viene Kelly. El lunes dice ella que viene que regresa, así que ya veremos si sí, regresa el lunes. La esperamos, la extrañamos. Asusta, pero gusta. All right, everybody. So we're gonna get started with the workout. Um, a little tip: the first round, I recommend um, going kind of like lightweight. Do not go too heavy. Go sort of light and focus on technique. All right. Um, move this back a little bit. All right. I'm gonna keep it there for now. I wanna, I want to, I wanna focus on the Scott's press. Um, so keep it, keep it light. Second round is your, your program round. So you can go with heavier weights in that round. Okay. So let's get going. Let's get started with the Scott's press. So remember, we're making that V at the top, starting from this position right here. All right, we got 15 reps. I want everybody to do 15 reps. So find a weight that's light enough, that's 15, but still gives you a nice burn, all right? Ready? Keep your shoulders, remember, weights a little bit behind the ears. So you kind of like here a little bit. So a little bit of a external rotation, right? You're here, and you're gonna go straight up and make that V, three, Two, one, let's go. Up, down, one, up, down, two, right above the head, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 13, 14, 15, and bring it down. Beautiful. Okay. Single arm rows. I'm going to start with 35s. All right, 35. I'm going three, three and a half times what I did for the Scotch press. All right. So I'm going to start with 35s, seven reps. I'm going to go um, no hand on the thigh because this is really light for me. Okay. And, uh, but for those of you who are a little bit newer, you might want to go elbow to thigh, all right? So I'm going to go arm out, three, two, one, we're going for seven, let's go. Up, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and switch. Let's go. Three. Two, one, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Woo, all right. Straight bar curls. It's only 10 reps, so I'm gonna go with, uh, I'll go with 15s. I'll go 15s. Not, not terribly heavy, but um, good enough on the 10 reps. All right, here we go. <sighs> Stay nice and low. Three, two, one. Let's get 10 reps. One, two, three. Stay under control. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. 10, beautiful, woo! Next, we have the swing to high pulls. I'm gonna stick with the, fifth, with the 15s for these, right? Just to get, 
to get the blood going, to get the, the momentum, the technique. All right. Remember to squeeze up top. If you can't do the swing and high pull, do the upright row. Here we go. Going for 10. Three, two, one. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. Next, we got the hammer curls to the shrugs. I am going to go first round. I'm going to stick to the tens, all right? I'm going to stick to the tens, the first round. Remember, three-second tempo, all right? Three-second tempo with a shrug. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Shrug. Bring it down. One, two, three. That's one. Let's go. Shrug. That's two. Up. Shrug. That's three. Shrug. That's four. Up. One, two, three. Shrug. Down. That's five. One, two, three. Down. Two, three, six. One, two, three. Shrug. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three. Shrug. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, shrug. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, ten. One, two, three. That's ten. All right. So, those are the hammer curls. Now we have the plank front raise. And I'm sticking to the tens. All right. Sticking to the tens. Here we go. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. Up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Up. Seven. Up. Eight. Up. Nine. Up. Ten. Beautiful. All right. Back to the hammer curls. Back to those hammer curls. Here we go. Shake it off. Ready? Three seconds. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three. Shrug down. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Two, one, two, three. One, two, three. Three, shrug, one, two, three, three, one, two, three, shrug, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, shrug, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, shrug, one, two, three, six, one, two, three, shrug. One, two, three, seven. One, two, three, shrug. One, two, three, eight. One, two, three, shrug. One, two, three, nine. One, two, three, shrug. One, two, three, ten. Woo! Shake it off, shake it off. We have the swings to high pulls. I am sticking to the 15s. All right, here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. Okay. Shake it off. We have the straight bar curls. All right, we're going straight to the straight bar curls. Take a couple deep breaths. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. 
Up. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. Nine. Ten. Shake it off. Fantastic. Fantastic. Okay. Next. We have a single arm dumbbell rows. All right. So I'm going to stick to the 35s. Remember, I'm not using my arms. It's up to you. No hands. It's more advanced. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, and switch. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Beautiful. All right. And last but not least, oh, we did ten. We're supposed to be seven and seven. Mess that up. All right. We got Scott's press. Back to the tens. We got 15 reps, all right, 15 reps. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, beautiful. And that is the end of round one, all right? So shoulders should be a little bit fatigued, traps should be a little fatigued, biceps, all right, and back. Woo! So grab a little something to drink, all right? Ah. <laughs> no, no, Maria. Now, remember, so for certain exercises, you guys can do up to 15 reps, which I forgot to mention, okay? So, and the way I do it is that if I say, for example, these seven for the single arm rows, you can definitely do 10, right? And what I usually do is that I'll count all the way to 15 to give the people who are going heavy a little bit extra time to rest. And this, those who are doing muscular endurance get the muscular endurance, right? And then the muscle builders are in the middle, all right? So I forgot to count to 15. So the one that I am going to say, you can do 15 on the single arm rows, right? And I'm gonna count to 12 for the single arm rows, all right? Because I'm gonna go plus five. So I'll go 12, I'll do a 12 count on the single arm rows. The straight bar curls, you can do 15. The swing to high pulls, you can do 15. And that's it, all right? Everything else is as is, all right? So single arm, so single arm rows, I'm gonna count to 12, and then three and four, I'm gonna count to 15. So if, you, if you're doing high reps, I'll count to 15. If you're going heavy, it's gonna give you a little bit of a chance to rest just a little bit more, all right? So, whoo! Um, the, well, the Scots press, so when you're doing military press, right, um, typically you're just going straight up and you want to lock up, right? Well, with the Scots press, right, you're kind of like rotating this way 
So it's kind of more engaging. It engages the shoulders, but it also engages the upper traps, upper back, which is great for stability, right? When you're here, you kind of don't. I mean, you could if you shrug, right? You could if you shrug, but the Scott's press forces you, forces you to like really retract that upper, right? And you're kind of squeezing in as opposed to just going straight up with the military press. So it's a, uh, that's also like a, a, a good mobility, healthy shoulder kind of thing for people who do Olympic lifting. So, um, but yeah, yeah. And then those, uh, those curls to the shrug, again, traps, traps, traps. Traps are very important as long as they're not overused and used correctly. Uh, traps are very important. And, um, and what happens is people have bad techniques, so they got overactive traps, so they walk with the traps always active, right, with the shoulders forward. So we're trying to make the traps work as they're supposed to work. So we're trying to bring, we're trying to balance everything out. So, um, yeah, it's just different, different angles, slightly different angles, slightly different things, but um, you should be working out every angle if you can, right? Your shoulders are super important, man. People just don't know how to use the muscles correctly, all right? From uh, overuse, over um, overuse, and and improper use, improper technique, all right? All right, guys. So this is what's gonna happen. Now we're gonna go for the official. Um, we're done with that warm up round. Now we're gonna go for your program, all right? So choose your program. Choose the heavy weights that you're gonna use, the ones that are gonna challenge you. If you're a beginner. Stick to what you did right now and just play along, see what feels right, okay? And start writing things down so you know what it feels like, all right? So, but I'm going to go ahead and count, do the counts. 12, 15, 15, everything else stays the same, all right? So, um, we're going to go a little faster because I'm, uh, or slower, depending how heavy I go. Uh, but this is more uh, time for you to execute your program. This is the real workout. These are your working sets. So we have the pre-warm-up, the warm-up, and now we have working sets. Execute to get better right now. This is the this is your chance. Your body already knows what's up. It already knows the exercises. Now add some weight and challenge the body. All right? So the Scott's press, I am going to use, I'm going to use um, 15s. And I'll use 52s for the rows, all right? So Scott press 15 reps, all right? Let's get this going. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. Up, down, one, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Bring them down. Woo! Beautiful. Single arm rows. All right, I'm going fifty twos. And I'm going with stability, even though it's not my heaviest, it's probably half of my heaviest, right? I'm gonna focus on technique, all right? And the squeeze. So I'm gonna count to 12 on each arm, but I'm only gonna do seven, all right? Ready? Three, two, one, let's get it. Up, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, keep going. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. Beautiful, okay. Switch the sides, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine. Oops. 
10, keep going. 11 and 12. I gotta do two more. Even though it doesn't really matter, <laughs> but I like to keep my numbers. Even though my rest period was already, already screwed up, I did nine on one set, but the other one's not getting away. I'm doing nine, don't matter. All right, straight bar curls. So straight bar curls, I'm gonna go 25s. So a total of 50 pound bar, it's like a 50 pound bar. I should be able to do this without a problem, all right? So this one, I'm gonna count to 15, all right? I'm gonna count to 15, here we go. Three, two, one, but I'm only doing 10, let's go. One, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Beautiful. All right. Swings to high pulls. I am going with the twenty-five as well. All right. Couple deep breaths. Take the weights up. Remember, if you can't do a, a, a swing, a high pull, do the upright rows, you're just gonna go a little lighter, all right? Three, two, one, let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, Nine, ten, beautiful, all right. Hammer curl shrugs. I'm gonna try 15s, all right. Second round, I might go to 20s. I'll see how it feels. Remember, three seconds. Try not to use any, moment, any momentum. I'm gonna focus only on the count. All right, try to go at the same pace that I'm going to. Ready? Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three. Shrug. Bring it down. That's one. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's two. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's three. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's four. Up, shrug, down, that's five. Up, bring it down, shrug, that's six. Up, shrug, bring it down, that's seven. Up, shrug, bring it down, that's eight. Up, Shrug, down, put it down, that's nine, one more, up, shrug, bring it down, that's ten, all right, now we got the plank front raise, I'm sticking to tens with these, all right, I'm sticking to tens, no ego lifting, all right, ten is more than enough for me for these plank shrugs, all right, here we go. Ready? Get in, get in your plank position. Three, two, one. Let's go. We got ten. Up. One. Up. Two. Up. Three. Up. Four. Up. Five. Up. Six. Seven, up, eight, up, nine, up, ten. Woo, all right. Shake it off. Little breather. Let's go, let's go into the, the hammer, hammer curls and shrugs. Going with the fifteens. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's get it. So, up, shrug, 
Bring it down. That's one. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's two. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's three. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's four. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's five. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's six. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's seven. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's eight. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's nine. Up. Shrug. Bring it down. That's ten. Woo! Beautiful. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Here we go. We got the swing. Swing to high pulls. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. All right, pull. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Woo! Ah. Straight bar curls. Straight bar curls, going with 25s. 10 reps. Here we go. Woo! Let's get it. Three, two, one. Let's go. Up, down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. If you're going for 15, go for 15. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Same thing with the strength to high pulls, right? Guys, if I forget to count to 15, still go for 15. You're just going to have no breaks in between reps, right? So, and that's perfectly okay. Those of you who are doing high reps require less breaks. Those of you going heavier require more breaks. So, even if I forget, get your reps in, all right? All right. We got these rows. Seven for me, 12 for some of you. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all right? Other side, shake it off. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, keep going. Eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, all right. We got the Scots press, 15s. I'm going to 20s, I mean, I'm going 15s. All right, focusing on technique, 15 reps. Here we go. Three, two, one, let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Beautiful, okay. Grab something to drink, and we have the last ladder. 
All right, so remember, we start on number two. We don't start on number one. So we're going straight back to the curls, all right? I mean, to the single arm rows. Here we go. Single arm rows. Seven for me, 12 for some of you, or less for some of you. Some of you might be going for five or four for strength training, right? It's your program. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Good. Nine, 10, 11, 12. Couple deep breaths. Other side. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two. Squeeze that back. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven, twelve. I gotta get three because I went. To, I did ten. One, two, three. Right. Gotta even it out. Gotta even it out. All right. Straight bar curls. Here we go. Fifteen. Sorry, ten. Some of you might be going for fifteen. All right, I'll count to fifteen. Three, two, one. Let's go. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, 10, keep going, keep going, 15, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, all right. Swing to high pulls, shake it off. Woo, um, I'm gonna go 35s, I'm gonna go 35s. Here we go. All right, ready? Three, two, one. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Keep going. Eleven. 12, 13, 14, 15. Woo! That's hard. All right. Curls, hammer curl shrugs. I'm gonna go 20s. The 15s were getting a little hard. My shoulder, my right shoulder keeps getting uh, fatigued. And I really think that my right shoulder is um, imbalanced, it's weak. So I need to uh, strengthen it. So I'm gonna push it with the 20s, all right? Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's go. Hammer curls, shrug, bring it down. That's one. Up. Hammer curls, bring it down. That's two. Up. Hammer curls, bring it down. That's three. Up. Hammer curls, bring it down. That's four. Up. Hammer curls, bring it down. That's five. Up. Hammer curls, bring it down. That's six. Up. Hammer curls, bring it down. That's seven. Up, hammer curls, bring it down. That's eight, sorry, sorry. Up, shrug, bring it down. That's nine, one more. Up, shrug, bring it down. That's it, I was supposed to be saying shrugs, and I was saying hammer curls. All right, Woo. Last but not least, we have these planks, All right, planks. I got a mess over here. I got so many weights. 
11, 12. Woo, other side. Shake it off. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Keep going. Eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All right. Last but not least, Scott's press. Uh, um, I'm going to go 20s. I'm going to challenge myself. I'm going to go 20s. All right. Here we go. Three, two, one. Let's get it. One, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. All right. Ah. All right, ladies and gentlemen, that is the end of your workout. So I hope you guys did fantastic. I hope you guys feel great. All right. My shoulders are definitely burning. It's not even a shoulder day. All right. But my shoulders are on fire. My traps are on fire. Um, thank you, everybody, for showing up. Fantastic. Work. Have a great weekend. Have a great Saturday. Go eat. Go rest. I have one more workout to go later on today if I have the energy. So I'm going to go eat a lot of food right now. Shower, rest. Um, guys, hit that like button. Right? Share the video. Share your experience. Let's grow the channel. Let's keep working hard. We are on day number 16. 16 of the year. All right? We got 300, 339 days left. All right? 339 days left. So let's keep kicking butt. Let's keep going forward, all right? Thank you, everybody. Woo! Have a great weekend, guys. I'll see you on Monday, right? <laughs> Marisol, ya tú sabes, ya tú sabes. Tú sabes que yo siempre digo que va a estar más o menos, pero estuvo simple, no fácil, simple, ¿verdad? Bien, bien directo a los, a los músculos, ¿verdad? No, 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 no hay locuras. So, guys... Hugs, kisses. I'll see you on the, ne on the next one. Simena, thank you. Olguita, Marisol, Ceci, Maria, everybody. Thank you so much for showing up and supporting the channel and supporting me. I'll see you guys. Adios.